Yo, what's going on guys? <clears throat> this video shall serve as a tutorial on how to properly install Optifine and Light Loader onto mod packs like mine that are hosted on the Curse Launcher. So first thing you're going to do, obviously, is download the pack. <clears throat> the whole purpose of this video is because the the, the people that run Curse don't let most third-party things be hosted. Um, and unfortunately, Optifine and Lightloader are two of the things that are not permitted to be within a pack default from the beginning. So, first thing you're going to do, download the pack fresh, which this is a fresh install. I just updated it to uh, V.1.2 uh, just a few moments ago. What you're going to do is first step, go to this, go to profile options, and right here you'll see a little checkbox that says locked. Uncheck that box, then hit OK. The next step is to open your preferred browser and go to Optifine.net, go to the download section, and download the newest version. I'm not going to recommend doing this one because from time to time there's really malicious ads through AdFly. This method, you don't get those ads. So download that. Keep. Okay, next up is Light Loader. <clears throat> You'll go to Jenkins.LightLoader.com and if you like get sent to a different part of the website you just click on this and it'll send you to the main page there's all kinds of different versions up here but what you're going to do is go under latest builds click on the newest latest build and <clears throat> do not get the exe i use the exe's auto extract function and i kept getting errors on the extract and it was causing problems with Forge not loading stuff properly and the mods just didn't work. But by going through and getting the jar version, they did work. So I now have both of those. So now what I'm going to do is first off, right click that one, the light loader jar, and you're going to open with either WinRAR or 7-zip. doesn't really matter what type of archiver you use. I prefer 7-zip because it's just a lot faster. And then you're going to find this file right here. Lightloader-1.10.2-snapshot-release.jar. You're going to drag that out. Close that. And delete it because you no longer need it. Next up, you're going to go to Open Folder. This will then open to the mods folder. And as you can see right here are two of the light loader mods. What I'm going to do is drag both of these into this folder. And as you can see, this reloaded. And there they are at the bottom. Right click, refresh. That should have put them in their. There's Optifine and there's Light Loader in their proper locations. Here is one of the Light Loader mods. And as you can see, here's Light Loader on the list. Its author is unknown because it was not downloaded through Curse. Okay, for some reason Optifine is not showing up. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. So Optifine is showing up now as well. <clears throat> Next thing to do, launch the game. Oh, 
This may take a moment as when I'm recording, Minecraft does not like to load very quickly. I really hate wading through this. But hey, at least now when you have Forge, you can see the progress, unlike the way it used to work when you just didn't know if it was frozen or not. <laughs> okay, there we go. Ooh, what's going on? Why is there like a double of that? Um... Ah, that's why. I had uh, Minecraft targeted on OBS, so it was creating a secondary window. Okay, now, off the bat, you won't really see anything. Um, but up here, the light loader tab. This one, because it's being ran through Forge, you're going to disable this one. This one and this one, you'll leave active. Oh, please don't let it have froze. Please don't let it freeze. Okay, there we go. Okay, full screen windowed. And the chunks are rising. So, I'm going to go into combat. I said combat. What I clicked on, or what I, not what I meant to click on. Okay, what's going on? I forgot about that one. Okay, now it is on. So as you can see, down in the bottom right corner, I now have my armor displayed. So now, I'm going to... Where's that stuff located at? Whatever. Book. Uh, I'll do Unbreaking 3. So, now I need an anvil. Whoa, shit, I didn't mean to give myself 64 of them, but whatever. Breaking three. Now watch the tools dis tool display. Now it says unbreaking three on it. The two mods that require light loader are working properly. So options, video settings, extreme render distance. Put it back on fifteen. So Optifine is working. All these options normally aren't here, so that's working properly. And that's it. Now that the mods are working properly, we can 
end the video. Do hope you enjoyed. I do hope this was, well, useful. <laughs> um, expect there to be possibly more mods added to my pack uh, that require light loader. Like I said before, uh, and in the description of the pack, it, light loader is not necessary. If you don't have light loader, all that will happen is these mods just won't load. If they don't load, they won't cause any problems whatsoever with the rest of your game, so there's no need to worry. Completely optional. So, thanks for watching. Peace out.